Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part four of Tableau scenario based questions for product based company. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without wasting any further time, let's move to the question. The first question is, let's say we have subcategory with sales and we are showing its percent of total. OK, and we have subcategory into the filter as well. And whenever we select and unselect any of the value from the filter, the percent of value is getting changed, which is incorrect. So let's say if we talk about accessories and that is 7.19%. And if I remove table from it, it is changing to 7.90. Okay. And if I remove supplies as well, it becomes 8.80, which is incorrect because this is exact number for SSE 7.19%. Okay. So how we can fix that number for this? We can create a calculated field and we can rename it fixed sales. Okay. And then we use our fixed LOD. Okay. And then we need our subcategory. And based on it, we will fixing our sum of sales. Okay. So, what this calculation will do is we are fixing the sum of sales based on subcategory. Okay. And then we need its percentage as well. So we are going to divide it with sales. If you look at this, this calculation is giving error because we cannot mix aggregated and non aggregated arguments within the function. OK, so to solve this problem, we have to make this function as well with the fixed. OK, so to use this, we can directly use the curly brackets. This also solves our problem or you can add fixed and then use this calculation. Both are valid. OK, if you are using just curly brackets, this will also uh, do the same functionality. And if you use the fixed LOD, this will also do the fun same functionality. OK, that is totally up to you. So click on OK and drag this value as well. Now change it to percentage, go to format. And then go to percentage. OK, now you can see we are having same number of values for accessories, appliances, art and so on. OK. Now, if I unselect the tables, you can see these values are changing, but the calculation that we made is fixed. If I remove supplies as well, you can see these values become 5.2 and this is still 4.65%. OK, so this is how you can solve this problem. Now let's move to the second question. Second question is how to compare sales of current MTD with previous year MTD. OK, first let's discuss the question. So what is MTD? MTD is month to date. So what this question wants is we want to calculate current year MTD. Let's say today date is uh, let's say 6th of August. OK, and I want to compare the MTD of 6th of August with the previous year MTD. So the question wants us to compare the values of sales from 1 to 6 August or 1 to 5 August of 2024 and 2023. OK, so how we can do that? First, we need to create the MTD logic for current year. So I'm writing, I'm giving the name CY MTD, right? And we are logging, we are using the R logic. If year of order date is equal to year of today function, right? Here we are comparing the year and now we will compare month of order date is equal to month of today. Now we are comparing month. Okay. And we also need so that we can compare the data as well. Our order date less than equal to today. Okay. Then it should give us sales and end our calculation. So what this calculation will do is let's say what's the year of today that is 2024 and it will check the hair as well. So first condition is satisfied. Then it will move to the month. Let's say our month is August for this month. So it will go and check for this order date and find the August month. Okay, then it 
then this condition will do is our order date is less than or equal to today date means it will compare the data from start date to the till today date okay of this month august month okay then it will give us sum of sales this is current year mtd and to find vs year ytd what we can do is we can just copy this and create a new calculated field and give it name sorry rename it py mtd and just enter it here okay so instead of writing the logic again what we are going to do is we are just going here and enter minus one so what this will do is it will calculate that today's year that is 2024 and then do it minus one means 2023 then it will go and find out the month of 2023 and then date is today today and order date okay and the logic will work same and just click on okay now let's find the difference between them let's rename it difference mtd and i'm using sum of y mtd minus sum of py mtd okay and if you find out the percentage of that you can just divide it with sum of py mtd okay and then click on ok now let's verify our cy and the py mtd use our order date ok and drag it here cy and the py if you look at the numbers we are not getting any value this is why because in our data set we are having the data of till 22 and we have used the logic till today means 24 so if you are having the updated data so you can use this logic it will work fine and how to test it with our recent data so for this i'm going to use the static date for this i'll use make date and i'm making it static that is let's say i'm using it 06 okay and then just copy it and replace it here and here as well okay so i've changed the logic for cytd just click on okay if we go it here in august let's say you can see we are getting the data of august of C current year ytd okay and let's say if we want to go with pytd what we can do is we can just copy the logic of that and replace it here okay make it minus one this will give us 21 and this will check the data of 21 of this okay month and if we go it here we need to make it 21 so that it will give us the data less than 21 of this date okay and click on okay if we go with 21 of data you can say we are getting the data of this month as well for 21 of august okay so means our both the condition are working fine if you are having updated data so you can go with today function okay and how we can show that difference of that we can just drag it here you can see so this is 0 0.5897 and if we can change it to percentage This is 58.97 percent so these numbers are basically used as a kpi in the difference so this is very important logic that you can remember okay so this is how you can compare the value of current year mtd with previous year of itd that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos